If you want to translate your WordPress website into multiple languages, this video will walk you through a couple of ways using which you can actually translate your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes. And I will show you two different methods. And the first method is uh, the preferred method simply because you have the complete control over the translation of your website, which means you will have to do the translation manually by yourself. And you don't need to hunt for any sort of premium plugin to translate your WordPress website. I will show you two different methods which are completely free so you don't need to worry about paying any money to get this done so anyway to get started let's uh, head over to our WordPress uh, dashboard and for the first method we will be using a plugin called polylang so let's go ahead and search for polylang p o l y l a n g so this is the one that we uh, want so let's go ahead and install now and as long as you install the plugin the next obvious step is to activate the plugin to start working on it uh, fine so as long as you install the plugin you will get to see a new item has been added here so just click on languages and here you need to add all the languages that you want to translate your site into so make sure you uh, add the native language in the first place so what i will do is uh, i will just search for yeah fine just click on add new language and then you can uh, keep adding all the languages that you want let's say i will add something more uh, fine and just click on add ling add new language to you know get it added here right so once you add all of the languages you will notice that uh, zero posts are uh, assigned here right so you also need uh, to you know assign your post and translate your post into that particular language so you will also notice a uh, notification which says there are post categories pages or tags without any uh, sort of default languages so what you have to do is just click on this uh, particular uh, option right fine so now now what you can do is we can move on to the translation part right so what you have to do is uh, you need to go to uh, the post that you really want to translate so in my case what i will do i have a couple of posts uh, in this uh, website so i will go to all post and i will just uh, click on that particular post that i really want to translate fine so as you could see uh, you have the default language over here now if i need to you know translate this uh, particular post into that uh, bengali language what i can do is i can just click on this plus icon and i can start uh, you know inputting the same post in that particular language right so now you need to type the post in that particular language so as you could see once you select the bengali version it's a little time consuming walk because it then turns it into a blank page as you could see and you will need to fill out all of the information for the bengali version as well right now if you do not have time to manually go through this process the next method might work for you and that is by installing a plugin called google language translator so now if you want to use the second method then you don't need to have the polylang plugin so let's go back to our plugins area and i will just uh, delete the polylang plugin to you know get started on the next method so i will just click on deactivate and i will just uh, delete the plugin fine so now uh, just click on uh, add new and just search for a plugin called google language translator fine so this is the plugin that we want so let's go ahead and uh, install now and now of course i will uh, activate the plugin great so now it's uh, activated now you can either go to uh, settings from here or you can also find a new uh, button under this settings menu so just click on uh, google language translate to so visit to visit the you know settings page of that particular plugin and the first uh, thing that you really want to ensure is uh, you have checked this box to you know get this plugin activated and uh, now what you have to do is uh, now you can pick all of the languages that you really want so let's say i will add bengali uh, french uh, german greek gujarati fine 
so now if you scroll down you have uh, a few more options here like you can uh, work on the language switcher with you have the uh, you know control over the color you can change the background color as well you can uh, work on the floating widget as well and you have uh, some more options as well so anyway i'm gonna leave all of that like that and uh, i will just click on save changes so now uh, we will take a look at our site and see it in action uh, so what i will do is i will go to post and i will just open any uh, any post uh, to see the translation fine so as you could see uh, down here we have the translation toolbar so i can click on this translate button and i can see uh, all the languages that i have added right so if i for example if i click on this gujarati language so as you could see it's automatically translating my uh, post into that particular language so these are a couple of really simple and easy ways to create a multilingual wordpress website now if you have any sort of question on this please feel free to leave a comment below so that's it for this video thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one